you're the, the doco. Yeah, you're going up to the games office. I am, I am. I saw, uh, I saw this, you right? I saw this on the television on Monday night. I didn't see you. I saw the second floor, right? Yeah, I was supposed to come for a meeting on Thursday, but they, they cancelled. I was supposed to come on Friday, but they were interstate. I wanted to come yesterday, and they were too busy. Too busy. I've got better things to do. Yeah, we'll see you later. Have you seen this? Yes, I have. Who is Consuela? Carlos Sabatini, same person. I realise that. I'm asking, who is it? It's in the letter. David, the letter explains the problem. I want to know how it happened. Carlos won the gold medal in the skeet shooting at Atlanta. Oh, yeah, not an event I follow. Mm. He wants to come here and defend his Olympic title. Fair enough. Has won the last three national championships in Argentina. A commendable performance. Is current South American champion, European champion and world champion. Have we got to the problem yet? He can't come. Can't come to Sydney? No. Why not? Not eligible to enter the event. Any reason given, David? Read the letter. I'm asking you! Not eligible. Can't go in it. Doesn't qualify. In February 1998 at the Alhambra Clinic in Buenos Aires, Carlos had a sex change operation. I see. And is now a woman. This is Consuela. Yes. That's exactly right, and yes. And who says Consuela can't come? The Olympic Sports Accreditation Board. We control who is allowed to come and who isn't. And you've decided Consuela's not coming? That's exactly right. What are the issues here? There aren't any issues. He's not coming. <clears throat> He's the defending champion. He's a woman. Let him compete in the women's event. He's the men's world champion. He was a woman when he won it. Yes, but that wasn't known at the time. Well, somebody must have known. Nobody knew. Did Carlos have any kind of inkling? Well, no one else knew. But all the other competitors were men, were they? Of course they were. Although, of course, you couldn't possibly have known that at the no, time. No, we knew that the rest of them were men at the time. At the time, David, you must have thought they were all men. How the hell could we have known who was a woman and who was a man? My point is, how the hell can you know that about oh, anybody? Don't be bloody stupid, you can tell. David, if you could tell a man from a woman, how did a woman win the men's world championship? Look, this is a disaster. We call upon the athletes of the world to come and compete in Sydney regardless of colour, race or creed, so long as you fit the gender requirements. What do the other shooters think? The other shooters don't have a problem. David, Sabatini is the defending champion, isn't she? No. Yes, she is. No, he isn't. You can only be the defending champion if you're defending your title. But the only reason she's not doing that is that you're not going to let her in. You can't be the defending champion if you're not defending your title, can you? Look, what is the difference between men's skeet shooting and women's skeet shooting aside from gender? What do you mean aside from gender? Gender is the difference. Well, are the skeets the same? I mean, are the targets the same? Is the gear the same? Are the rifles the same? Yes. Is the scoring yes, system yes, the yes, same? Yes, yes. Why have they got separate events? Well, all sports have separate events. You have a men's 100 metres and you have a women's 100 metres. Are you going to have them run together? Yes, but this is not an event that involves strength or speed. Gender's just an idea that's been imposed on no, this. No, it isn't. It's a social construct. Oh, ridiculous. This is an Olympic event we're talking about. You can't have men and women in the same event. You don't have women rowers competing against the men. You don't have women swimmers competing against the men. You don't have women weightlifters Those competing against the men. Those are events involving physical strength. Yes, there's a clear difference there, David. Oh, so there is a difference. It's not just a social construct. Yes, there is a difference between men and women, David. There's a difference between black and white, short and tall, bright and very, very thick. <clears throat> you see, David, I think Gina's point is that it's not necessary to break everything people do up into two classes. In the case of the skeet, for example, which seems to involve aim, steadiness and experience, we might be able to make the problem go away if we can make the difference between the two groups go away. My point is, you can't. What about events where men and women compete now? What events? Equestrian, a sport in which Australia is defending its four-day event gold medal in Sydney. Not a proper sport. Not a proper sport, David. Well, look, this is different. How can this woman defend a men's title? He's a woman. <sighs> this is hopeless. David, she won it at the last Olympics, she? Didn't won she? the men's event. Yeah, well, why can't she defend it? Only a man can defend a men's title. Name a single man on earth who can defend this title. I don't care about that. The ruling is very no clear on that point. No one can defend this title, he David. He should have thought about that earlier. She might have had a few other things on her mind. Well, if you're not going to concentrate at this level, you're going to pay the price. <clears throat> David, what is your definition of the problem? The problem is that we have two genders and we have two events. Can this person compete or not? In which event? In either event. Let's take them one at a time, shall we? V. 
The men's? No. The women's? No. Call for you, John. Pretty much exhausted the possibilities as I see it, David. But just excuse me for a minute, will you, please? Hello? John? Oh, hello. Hey, look over here, look out the window and say yes? exactly what I tell you to say. Say, put him through. Sure, put him through. Hello, it's Richo here. Richo! Yeah. Yes. Yes, David's here now. We're just talking our way through it. Oh, well, you know, there are some difficulties. It's obviously hard to put uh, her in the men's event. She is a woman. Well, they don't want a man uh, in the women's event. They're not going to let her come in and do it, no? I ask Chuckles if other women are allowed to compete in the women's events. Just a minute, I'll ask. David, are uh, other women allowed to compete in women's events? Yes. Yes, they are. Yeah, and ask him if they can't compete in women's events, where the hell are they supposed to compete? I'll just check that with him. Please do. David, if women are not allowed to compete in the women's events, where are they supposed to compete? What's his point? Richo, David's not quite sure where you're going with this interesting That's line of questioning. That's because he's stupid. Yes. Hmm? Hang on a minute. Uh, David... Um, do you want the shooting to be a very big success at the Sydney Olympics or are you completely insane? Richo says you can only pick one. Oh, that's beautiful. He's having a bit of a job. think about that one, Richo. Mm. No, I think he would see uh, that Friday is an excellent opportunity to uh, make an announcement to the world press, in fact, that uh, the current world men's skeet champion will be competing in the women's, women's event at the event. Sydney Olympics. Uh, one thing, Richo, Richo. Yes? Uh, when David uh, goes to make this announcement, mm. uh, could he take Gina with him? No. Oh, good, no, he can. John. Fantastic. No, because that would no. be great. D All right. I don't yeah, want to no, go I'll with tell him. Thank little... you. Bye. That was Richo, uh, David. Do you want a cup of tea? How'd that go? Seemed to go fairly well, thank you. Why did you make him take me with him on Friday? Well, you'd want to hear the words coming out of his mouth, wouldn't you? You can cut this bit out. Mm. You'd want to hear him actually say that. Mm. Would you trust Fair him? Enough. Cut it bloody out!